and I tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy Know I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby <laughs> Y'all know what it is. I'm here with a very special guest today, man. <laughs> man. I'm here with a very, very, very special guest today. I want to thank y'all again for tuning in to Super Tight TV because we back up your back going smack, smack, smack. You got your big dog, Bobo Luciano, in the house and my sexy ass, gorgeous, beautiful wife. It's your girl, Jazzy K. Man, as I told y'all, you about to get lit. Up in here, man. No, oh, yeah. no. We're not? We're we not about to get lit. Okay. Oh. Damn. She got to keep me straight, bro. Dang. She keeps me straight. Yeah, I see. She got the, she keep the rain because I be like, mm, I be trying to get loose. Yeah, man. She, when she was gone, you had that little freedom. I said, you was cutting up. Yeah. 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 Oh, what is it? Yeah, yeah. Keep Word. on talking. Word. Word. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> word. I'm saying, we ain't in word. Look. We talking, Mr. Love. And word, nigga. Inquiring minds. She know I ain't did nothing. I ain't going to bust a great. Okay. <laughs> nah, nah. He kept me. He had the interviews going, man. Yeah. I'm yeah. just, uh, I'm just, uh, I was right there. Big yeah. talker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, I would even if she ain't here. Yeah, she here. Oh, really? No mind. I, like, I know that. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what's up? Fuck, <laughs> well, nah, big brothers man. always watching. No. <laughs> man, they got the all seeing eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but say, man, I know y'all might recognize that voice because this man has a serious platform, yeah. and in Dallas, we don't have hating bones in our body. Oh, if you're a real one. I mean, it's some, it's some, it's some, it's some cuff boys out there. If you know you're really from Dallas, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, it's a lot of people who ain't here. from here. Nah, you man. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But you know, even in the artist world, you know, we just had a tight interview with the Randy Boys, and we were talking about you know early 2000s. Like everybody worked together, right? You know what I'm saying? Everybody just, you know, you see somebody out. What's up, my nigga? You know, but now it's not, not, not as much. You know right. what I'm talking about? And you do have a hating element in Dallas, and people are out there stirring that pot and keeping that. Narrative going, but this brother, he's come to the city and started a platform that was well needed. Mm-hmm. He's helping our local artists. I mean, he's bringing them to his platform, smoking them out. If you are a legend, he really gonna smoke you out. I've been there. I've seen Cottonmouth there. I've seen uh, Rifleman there, Jalo. Uh, uh, Chris, OG Chrissy. OG Chrissy. I've seen so many people come through his doors, so he is really out there grinding. When I go to different uh, events, it's not an event that I haven't been to since we uh got back active that I didn't see this brother. Yes. So I'm gonna let y'all know who this is because he's a serious super tight guest. I got Mr. Loudon in the house. Hey, Mr. Loudon. Mr. Loudon in the house from the Lit Podcast. Stand up. Hey, what's going down? Smoke some. Yeah. Hold up, hey, hold hey, up. hey. No, my wife. We front, front. That's our studio. I'm a studio guy. Okay. <laughs> that's one. That's CBD. <laughs> CBD, that's how we do CBD. Yeah. You know what I'm about? For smoke. real. We don't smoke real weed. No, it's legal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I got cataracts now. Oh, shoot. Everybody got that cataracts. That didn't sound like a CBD cough. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, you know it's that sounds like a good old cush cough. See, I got my jacket mm. on. It's cold out there. You. That sounds like an old cush cough. Oh, man. Say, it's going down, man. Already? I, say, man, I'm blessed to be here, man. Appreciate you for having me here, man. Man, you are. It's an honor to have you here. Man, say, it's an honor to be here, man. You know what I'm saying? When wifey, when, when wifey agree with the guests, I know it's going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know definitely. what I'm talking about? Yeah. And she said, yeah, get him. That's okay. She got to have him. Got to have him. Sometimes right. I slip some in. She'd be like, who is that? And I had to go through the history. I didn't have to do that yeah. with you. You know okay. what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? She's, um, you know, saw a lot of your interviews. Uh-huh. You know, she she saw my interview, was mad at me. <laughs> I got that call. Yeah. <laughs> She was mad at me. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, that's okay. Bad influence. I'm usually the bad influence. <laughs> but yeah. I'm usually the bad influence. Like... But at, at your show, it was it was real laid back. Yeah. And was, you know when when you're in Rome, do what the Romans do, right? Yeah. Well, so what? <laughs> I was in the Loudons. 
I was at the Lit Podcast. You know what I'm saying? So I had to do what the Lit Podcast that's, do. That's, you know what I'm talking about? Do. That's what they do. Ride, that's real. We're going to smoke and ride. We're going to go through there. I really, yeah. I really. And, and I had a great time. Oh, yeah. That man. was a three hour interview. Hey, say, man, it's going down, man. I, I couldn't just let you go like that because I got to have you back because it's just. Y'all need that platform. You yes. Know, you know, and I really felt like the city need that platform. I felt like if never was a platform that just paint the picture. Yes. How Dallas is really is, you mm-hmm. know, like everybody just skip over everybody. It's like mm-hmm. everybody forgot. It's a lot of people who play major roles, even though they face them, mm-hmm. weren't even in the picture. For know? real. Like so, yourself. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, yeah. So let's kick it to the wife and let her get this thing started. All right, Mr. Loud, and for the folks that don't know, why don't you tell everybody where you're from? Well, you know, man, you know, I know everybody tired of hearing it, but I'm from Oakley. Hey, Dang. Oakley from America. Yeah. Oakley from America, What's baby. What's what school? What school you went to? Man, I went to, there. I went to I went to Thomas Jefferson. Okay. You know Not what I'm really. saying? I went to, uh, what, uh, what you, you said T.M. Mark Twain. Yeah, T.M. Mark okay. Then we left. Then we ended up leaving right before that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know where? We went to North Dallas. Okay. Mama mm-hmm. fell in love with an African. The mm. North or the North? Well, I just put it like this. We end up... Uh, you tell me where it was, and I said tell you if it was North or North. I know we were somewhere close. I went to uh, Hoshkiss. Hoshkiss? That well, was right well, there. Well, you were in the North. North. That, was by, that was by the ice box. You are in the North. That was right there by the ice box, right there by Park Lane. Oh no! You, no. Uh, yeah, no, no, you, no, you was in the north. Yeah, you was that's north. right there okay. by Park Lane. <laughs> yeah, you was in the and north. Then, then we, then we, uh, then we later moved on over there to Spring Valley. Ooh, yeah. you know Richardson. What I'm all then right. we went the over north. there, started yeah, messing with Richardson. all them boys like Stephen Harris is Big Vernon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mike General and all them boys. Yeah, and went the west for a little bit. Then end up going over there to uh, Lake Highlands. Yes. You know, and that's why I met a lot of them eight deuce boys. It was going yeah. down. Well, it was going down out there. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I end up going out there to um, what was that? Because uh, I was getting in trouble so much. So I was already about this time. The troublemakers always have a long list. I mean, of I've been going to jail since <laughs> I've been going to jail since second grade. So really, yeah. What you, you doing in the jail second, grade? second grade? Man, say I just had. I just always knew what I wanted to be. Real jail or well, what did you I, do? I was going, man, I was going to Long Star and I was going to Harry Hines. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I was, you know, waking up, I you know, know what I'm saying, in a cell with your draws, you know what I'm yes. saying? Like straight up. You know what I'm saying? It's talking about going to TYC, you know what I'm saying? Like it, that, That's a Eucharist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. That's so that's wait a minute, wait a minute. Second grade. hmm What school was that? This was at um uh Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. Mm-hmm. Thomas Jefferson. What mm-hmm. the hell did you do with Thomas Jefferson and end up? Having your mom and you fighting, you know, just oh, yeah. yeah, fighting, you know what I'm saying, talking back, you know, all that crazy stuff. At like seven that. years you know, old, you know, they had their programs back then. You know, they, they it was no zero tolerance. Oh, that bush. Mm, yeah, yeah. 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 So I didn't grow up during that time. <laughs> yeah, you could fight in school, and y'all you was gonna get with some licks, and get a referral. And get nah, we still got school. the paddles, but shoot, yeah. you got the handcuffs too. Yeah, or they, wow. or they, they pull up to your mama job with you in handcuffs. That's how it was still when we were coming prison. up. Yeah, okay. golly! I, I remember when they they started doing that and mm-hmm. blaming the parents and writing tickets mm-hmm. to the parents for mm-hmm. what the kids did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was crazy time in Dallas. Mm-hmm. So you 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 was a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Kept going to different schools. Yeah, sound like you went to about twelve different schools. Oh, yeah, I went to a lot of. Them. How did hip hop just start? I mean, what was the first song you you heard? This said, God damn, I love that. I mean. At least so many, but it had to be one. It was like, um, and what grade were you in? I could say like this. I, I can tell this is a true story. I was already listening to hip hop just because of radio. You know what I'm saying? You know, K104 one really wasn't bumping hip hop like that yes. at the time. But, you know, back then, you know, your mama had tapes, CDs. Yes. She was always on Scarface. She was always on, you know, Pimp, you know, like. Uh, your mama was? Yeah, my mama was. Yeah. Wow. You know, my mama, she she loved music, you know. like She I still with her? Your mom still alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what era she come up in? Uh, my mama was more sailing. Uh, she, she went to. Uh, Golly, she gonna be like, uh, golly, she went to, uh, uh, Maceo? Yeah, Maceo. Yeah. She went to Maceo yeah, Smith? Yeah, she went to Maceo Smith, yeah. So she went to the old Maceo. Yeah, she went, went to the old Maceo. Yeah. East of uh, Cliff, uh, right. the Nolan Estes Plaza. Yeah, and everybody else, all my other cousins and them, they went to South Oak Cliff. What year your mama come out? My mama came out in 84. Oh, she my sister's age. 
Uh, she came mm-hmm. out in 84. Everybody mm-hmm. else came out in 82. She two years older than me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Really. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so that's just everybody around me listen to music. And plus, we had a musical background, you know, like, especially on Marseilles, right around the corner on you and uh, y'all brown people stay right around the corner. Oh, yes. Yeah, they were right there. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I heard, um, I used to uh, skip school. You know, I was always skipping school, you know. And this was, <laughs> and this is elementary. Yeah. And, you know, right up there by um, <clears throat> Winwood, it was a record store. Brook Mays? Yeah, well, I think it was Brook Mays. Brook Mays, I took sure. drum lessons up there. You know there. what I'm saying? Um, well, anyway, I used to go up there. And I used to steal uh, Oak Cliff Assassin CDs. Oh, you talking about music, a record store music yeah, store? Uh, record oh, store. Yeah, yeah, record store. Yeah, record store. Yeah, I forgot the name of it, but I used to steal Oak Cliff Assassin CDs. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out KP. Real Long Lil' KP. Oak Cliff Assassin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, car Wash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had Car Wash out at the time and yeah. stuff like that. You know, so Oak Cliff Assassin was, I was like, oh, he from, you know what I'm saying? He from the cliff spitting it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so then next thing you know, me, Going to Sound Records, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I started discovering, you know, um, people like, uh, or a true story, Goo Goo. Yeah. You know Red what I'm Run. saying? Yeah, Red Rum. That's when I got a taste of Red Rum. Okay. And I was just, then I started seeing them on Flavor because, you know, we always watching Flavor. Yeah, yeah. And they had the commercials going on. So, Flavor. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Flavor was the stuff. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I started uh, Rally Boys. Yes. Yeah, Rally Boys is out, you know. Uh, and then Nemesis, of course. You know, you, yeah. I can't forget Nemesis. You know what I'm saying? How old were you when when, when Nemesis? Yeah, it'd be uh, like five years old. Yeah, I was about six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you remember I was about that? six. Yeah, come my cousins. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, my cousins and stuff like that. And then, like, every weekend, like, see, we had this thing where we go to my auntie house on the weekends. You know what, what I'm the saying? Time was she in? Oh, no, Cliffs. Okay. I always stayed. We was over, she, uh, matter of fact, she took over my grantee house. I'm at my grantee apartment over there on Fort Worth Avenue. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, we you know, over there at that time, that's when, about this time, Bush had that thing where all the immigrants was coming in. Oh. You know, I, all yeah, 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 the people from uh, the uh, war, uh, Iraq and all that stuff yes. like that. So all them kids were just coming in. So you just start seeing a lot of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. The melting pot. Yeah, the melting pot. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we just go to the house every weekend, you know, and uh, um, play dominoes, whatever, learn cards, play cards and stuff like that. So my auntie, she was always playing music, records. Oof. All that in the mix, you know. So we uh and he made me lose my train of thought. Um Did I make you lose it? Nah, it ain't the cushion. Nah, the CBD. Nah, nah, but we we used to go over there and do our thing, you know, and um you gonna have to ask me another question because I forgot my train of thought. <laughs> I've been there before. Yeah. <laughs> so the music. Right. You still in CDs, you know, still Oak Cliff Assassin CDs yeah. out of Winwood. Yeah. That's where we were. That's where Snitching we were. on himself. Yeah. I ain't yeah. glad, y'all. I ain't mm-hmm. glad. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> yeah, snitched on himself. You know what I'm talking about? But no, statute of limitations he is over. He did his that. time. Yeah, statute of <laughs> limitations is over on that. Right. When did. You, I'm just curious to what. Because every time I talk to you, 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 you never. You surprise me. With right. your knowledge Right Like You was at damn near Every party <laughs> Every conference I mean I remember yeah, when be, yeah. I remember when I was like Man how do you know that Well That because You had to start going out I was the only early. boy I was the only boy Okay And I'm the oldest And there's only oh. two of us And just me and my sister Oh You see what I'm saying So mama always At that time That's when I was They work They don't come home mm-hmm. To probably one o'clock Two o'clock in the morning You was gone And she still hit the club so, you know, like, I was out there. I yeah. was meeting everybody. I knew everybody just been moving from hood to hood. You know what I'm saying? I even went to Skyline. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even make it out the auditorium. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> it wouldn't let you out. I was, you know, it, 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 you know. <laughs> what happened to Skyline, man? Uh, man, I went to go and roll, man, you know, but... You know, I mean, it was it, Skyline was nice. They had the mechanic shop and everything, but it's yeah. just like I was like at that time school one for me. I seen everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I just that that that's He's crazy like, to me. Like, no, nah, because man, when I start seeing like like you know, especially when listening to Pimp C, hearing your name, you know, seeing you know Cotton Mouth and them on Flavor TV and all that. That's what I yeah. wanted. To, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so I started going out. 
where everybody else was rapping there. I was going downtown, Deep Ellum. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how I met DJ Drop. He was at um, Palm Beach DJing. Already. You know what I'm saying? I remember those days. Yeah, so did it, you used to rap? Do you rap? Yeah, I rap. Oh. And I started producing. But see, the background came because like, my the see where the background really comes from, it's like my, my musical background. See, like, my great uncle is Sam Cook. My auntie. Wait a minute, you can't just say that. Yeah, no, nah, nah, I got to put it like that. this. My auntie is, you know what I'm saying, um, Mary Wilson from Supreme. Wow. You know what I'm saying? She just passed away last February, last year. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. auntie. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I got, a, I, got a, I got a musical background. Then not only that, you got to realize I was groomed under T-Lo. T-Lo had New Game uh, records back in the day in the mm. Grove. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. he, he was also, I didn't know... Um, Picasso told me that he was see, cause Tilo never talked like that. You know what I'm saying? He never was a big talker, but I knew that he was famous like that because I knew he used to work with NWA. Yep. I knew he was with uh Doc. Death Row and all in yes, Doc. Yeah. And then he was like, he was on the first rap album that came out in Dallas too. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what album was that? Um, you gonna have to ask Picasso. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But we talked about it. I put it on my page or it was on oh, my really? podcast. Um, but he was like, it was one of the first rap albums that came out of Dallas. Oh, you really? know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, you know, Tilo, Tilo has a major background. So he does. Right. So when we, I was at the, when we was going to the studio, we was always uptight, yep. luxy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shout out uptight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uptight. You know, we in our, they playing video games with Snoop Dogg and all yeah. that. So it was like, it was a different experience. You know, I, I got to watch him work the boards, see how he do production. Yeah. Stuff that. Yeah. Tilo was, uh, where is he at now? Man, Tilo making movies. And he broadcasting the show or something too like that. So I, I keep in touch with him sometimes, but oh, really? but he get ghost. But he's still in the area. Yeah, he's still in the area. Shout out T Lo, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout uh, out T Lo. Oh, I know he got some stories. Oh yeah, he got oh man. No, <laughs> oh man, he got boy say, yeah. Man, mm. he, between him and I ain't gonna say who I'm gonna say because I'm gonna get that the other person on the show. <laughs> before he who is I'll tell you out the camera. Okay, okay, yeah, but I can't tell the world until right, they see it. You can't, yeah. you can't let them see your hand, man. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's like, that's like the old people used to tell the girls, "Don't let them see your feet. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't show them your feet, girl." <laughs> Put some light Hell, man. Was that a message to people was, with ugly feet? No, no. You just, that's that was that was personal. <laughs> <laughs> you seeing feet? You know what I'm talking about? You you seeing something else? <laughs> Kick your shoes <laughs> out. I have a flip flop. No, back back then you were flip flops wasn't even a thing. <laughs> when open they toe shoes. Back then flip flops wasn't even a thing. They had no open toe shoes. Those shower walk shower shoes. Shower shoes. Was, <laughs> was what flip flops was <laughs> back <laughs> in the day. They, they, oh yeah, they yeah. ain't had no soul or nothing. No, nah, rubber or something was rubber. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> pop right out the middle. Of them. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Now you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I them, don't show you them exact hey, ones. Girl, <laughs> yeah, that shit's real. Don't show your feet, girl. Don't talk about. So, um, and also, I've heard you talk about this subject a couple of times because I want to pick your brain on some of the, when, when I was over your house, we, we had a long talk about Dallas history. Right. Let's talk about when the Jamaicans came. Oh, the Jamaican posse. What you know about that? Well, about that time, Jamaican posse was here. I know they used to be off of Ewing and they used to be off of Keith and Polk and stuff like yes. that too. I used to have an Amy. That same ain't I told you we used to go over our house every weekend. She used to be, you know, a well known, you know Hustler. Yeah. All back right. then, you know what I'm saying, that time, you know, and uh she used to um uh, work with one of the big dudes over there, you know, and uh I used to I used to be a little child growing up. I don't know if you remember the apartment, but they used to be called Burning Hills. Mm, I remember the name. You know what I'm saying? Burning Hills, they chop they chopped them down though, but they cause they were they were real infested. Just like over there by Ewan, they chopped yes. the apartments down cause they were real infested. Mm. But uh they were right there near Biscayne in Tropicana. Okay, okay. Right there. And so yeah, I, I used to come wake up in the night. My mom used to, you know, back then, you know, used to have a soda machine right in your apartment. You know, yes, right, you know, right there next to the pool. Everybody yes, knew that. Yes. So, you know, one day, you know, I'm walking downstairs and um and boom, one of the one the first time I, I seen one of the Jamaicans, boom, they, the trench coat, everything, boom, shot a dude in the head right in front of me, right, right there in front of me. Wow. Mm. Yeah, you know, so and I How still got that soda. Huh? I was like I was like 
five or six. Then. Wow. Yeah, I still got that soda. I still got that Pepsi for you, mama. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. I never opened it. Hey, my mama would have just been like. <laughs> yeah, they used to. Uh, <laughs> so, this a move. Of, a lot of people don't know. They used to sit in the trees and they yeah. used to hit the lights out in the streets. You remember when they used the to. The Jamaicans? Yeah, you remember they used to hit the lights out in the no, streets? No, that's why I want y'all to you know, paint and, that and, picture. And they used to sit up in the trees with more, all type of guns and stuff. Because I know because my mama used to be, you know, one of them persons who love to roll around the hood. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when she rolled around the hood, you know, boom, you know, that's what we run into. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we run right up on out of there. <laughs> it was everywhere. Yeah. Over there at Farm Ridge. Yeah, Farm Ridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Farm Ridge. Yeah, Jackson Square. Jackson Conway. Square. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where well, you stay in Farm Ridge. Oh, you used to stay in yeah, Farm Ridge? Yeah, I used to stay in Farm Ridge right there by Christ for Christ for Nation. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just, it used to go down over there, especially at the I used store. to go right there by, you know, what was that? It was a grocery store, Skaggs. Yeah, Skaggs. And then you know right there by Sound Warehouse. Yeah. And then on the side, of, you go on the side, what was that, Five Mile? Yeah, Five Mile. Yes. Yeah, five, you know, Five Mile goes, too. Exactly. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, and it yeah. was uh, Jackson Square back there. Five Mile. Man, me too. <laughs> Farm Ridge. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Farm Ridge. Yeah, they was over there too. My, uh, my mama used to do her. She was a beautician. I read it. So, you know, she, uh, so like Mr. Gabo used to have, um, uh, used to have uh, the all the beauty shops in Oak Cliff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He used to own, uh, golly, uh, the Unisex, you know, uh, once I forgot, um, mm -hmm. shops over there. And so my mama used to work right there on Marcellus. Mm -hmm. It used to be a pool hall right there back in the day. I don't know if you remember, right next to Marcellus shop. and what? Uh, that's uh, golly, I think that's more sailors and Overton, if I ain't mistaken. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, a girl got killed. She used to work in the shop over there. She got her name was Pam. She got shot. Dude tried to come up in there. They had beef with one of the dudes in there, shot in the head. Wow. Yeah, I, I've been around a lot of, <laughs> lot of oh yeah. It, it, it was a lot of a lot of mm -hmm. a lot of that. Yeah. Off of Marcellus. Yeah. That whole area, Marcellus and. The whole strip. Lancaster. Mm -hmm. Lancaster, yeah. Yes, uh, the whole that, strip. Yeah, all the way down to A Street. Yeah, oh. all the way down. Yeah, that was yeah. that was real Oak Cliff. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we always we stayed on Fifth Street right there. We mm -hmm. always have house parties. All oh, that yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Roosevelt and South Who's Oak Cliff half party was real schools. Yeah. I'm talking about if you came up out of them schools, you came out with street knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was hustlers, mm -hmm. killers, yeah. fighters. Good ball players. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Rambo. What was it? Robot. Robot. Yeah, yeah Robot. My yeah. bad. I said Rambo. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. Robot. Yeah, Roy Martin. Mm -hmm. Man, shout out to my brother Roy Martin. I got to get you on the show, baby. Um, yeah, I mean we had a lot of talent in Oak Cliff back mm -hmm. then. I mean, yeah, my cousin, my well, my cousin, daddy was one of them. Larry Buckley. He was a basketball player. He was cold. Back School. in Oak Cliff. He went to uh, South Oak Cliff. Larry Buckley. Uh huh. And he, really? uh, he was signed to the. Uh, the Supersonics back in the day. Oh, this wow. Was like in the uh, like 80s. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, so. Dallas had a lot of talent back mm -hmm. then, bro. I mean, we could have been a sports man. A lot of stars, too, in the music, mm -hmm. though. But a lot of people don't no. know we had a lot of stars in the music. Speak on it. I mean, like, I mean, don't you know um, a girl named a uh, uh, Karen Ashley Johnson? Mm -mm, talk to them about it. You know, the girl, the, uh, girl group called Crush. You remember that group, baby? They were from Dallas. Well, they yeah. went platinum. That was uh, what, ninety two, ninety three. Oh, yeah. they were singing. Yeah, they were singing. I wasn't listening to her. But she, back then. but but she, but you know, matter of fact, she went on to play in the TV show. She was the Yellow Power Ranger. Oh, I think I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, she was the yes. Yellow Power Ranger. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember any of her music, but I remember yeah. them saying the the Yellow Power Ranger was a black chick from Dallas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just no, nah, I, uh, I, <laughs> I never listened to any of the music. Oh yeah, I was straight Tupac. I bet I wouldn't listen right. to R&B. I wasn't because let me tell you why. You, he said something that was an integral part uh -huh, of this city. Mm -hmm. K one hundred four for a while when was playing straight R and B, straight R and B. Yeah, they didn't play any rap mm -hmm. whatsoever. Word. Yeah, I had to hit you with it. You know what I'm talking about, <laughs> and that was that was, and it, it really made you tired of R and B, especially. I like the old school R and B, right? You know what I'm saying, Maze, right? Uh, uh, Isley Brothers and things like that. Yeah. But you know, new artists. I will. I missed a lot of new artists that they, they came out back then. Right. I probably got back into. I'm telling you, when I really got back into R and B. Um, D'Angelo and Erica Badu. Oh yeah, right yeah. around the end. Yeah, 
I was like, okay, that's some that's something I can vibe to. Oh yeah, when you know we, what I'm saying? Yeah, that? We heard Erica, it was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. It was like we were like, oh Dallas alive again. Okay. Yeah, you know Dallas alive, alive again. You yeah. know, <laughs> I wasn't even in Dallas when when she came out. I wasn't even living in Dallas when she first came out. Right. And then, yeah, when she first came out, I was like, wow, that's right. That's apples. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Right. And then she blew up from that. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? So. Yeah. What was that? On and on, on and on and on. The world yeah. keeps moving like a rolling stone. Man. Say, hey, say, we got you, baby. We got you. We got you. Okay. We bad. We go singing for you, baby. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need the marathon yeah. voices. We right yeah. here, baby. Yeah. You need to come on over here to Super Tight TV. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you do. Yeah. Nay Rock. Nay Rock. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Nay Rock? <laughs> you come through here, too. Yeah. You come on through here, too, Nay Rock, because Nay Rock used to be uh, in a. Uh, uh, Rock and roll group. Okay. Back when we used to have our show on um, KNON. Okay. Yeah, we interviewed Nay Rock a couple of times. And okay. uh, and then when she did the video with Erica, mm -hmm. and she was in in the tub, looked like a bunch of blood on her. Yeah. I said, boy, look at Nay Rock and grew up. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But yeah, man, that's, they look just alike, man. Man, that video was weird as <laughs> well. That shit was weird as hell, but the music, the song was jamming. But the song was jamming. It wasn't even a song, though. She was just, it was just a lot of echoes oh, and yeah. reverb and, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of smears. <sighs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? But uh, you know what, man? You got a lot of boys say, you got a lot of boys in trouble, and you made a lot of boys happy with that video. <laughs> <laughs> well, both of them, especially when the one she walked downtown, you yep, know. Yep. Yeah, yeah. She made Window a statement, seat. though. Yeah, uh huh. Erica, you did the damn crazy yeah, thing doing that. Hell yeah. yeah she, she's our star. She's really, really our, our star yes. star. Yes. You know, she's really our Two star. Two people. Mm -hmm. Erica. Mm -hmm. DOC. And DOC. That's Definitely. our that's our um our royalty. Oh yeah. In Dallas. Oh yeah. I oh mean, yeah. And Ron C. Yeah. You can't forget yeah. Ron C. Ron C the first one come out platinum, baby. Oh, like, yeah. Like a lot of people just you know, like like I tell people just do your history. You know what I'm saying? Stop saying you the first all the time. Oh, you know, yeah, man. you know, Ooh, yes. it, 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 everything I already been done underneath the sun. You know exactly, what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, they just try to change it around to make it seem like it's something new, but it's already been done. And yeah. don't people do that? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be the first one, and it's like mm -hmm. already been done. It's yes, already, already been done. done. Yeah, I heard yeah. people. I heard people claim first. I had and I be to, like, and I'm like, mm -hmm. nah, nah. But, and the bad count? thing about Dallas is. <laughs> That they just won't do their research. Nah, they won't do their research. And that's why we have our platforms, right? right? right. Because that, that'll be good references for them right. to go. But if they want to, right. go back and research. Right. Well, let me look at the Lit Podcast right. and, and search out some of these historians. Let me look at Super Tight TV and, and, and check it. Y'all subscribe. So, so this is when you, that's, that's the smile when you when your thought came back from earlier when you yeah. got. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Oh, now yeah. I remember my name. The brain for it ain't so funky yeah. no more. Right. Yeah, we used, to go, we used to go to my Amy house. That's why. This was here, okay. We used okay. to go to my auntie house every weekend. Okay, you know what I'm saying. And we used to go to the CD store. You know what I'm saying. We used to go to Redbird, whatever. What we just drive out. Me and my cousin, cause my cousin was older. Okay, He'd take us to the CD store, and that's where I started really getting the art of buying tapes and CDs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I was going in there. I was going getting Nemesis. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm saying. I was going in there getting uh, like I said, Oakland Run Assassin. C. Oh, Run C definitely. Come on, you know what I'm saying. Like Trendsetter, yeah. Trend Trendsetter. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. But say we um that that's where they came from. You know what I'm saying. It, so it used to be a great opportunity to buy a record. Well, what was uh, experience? Yeah, because you open it up, you yes. get the book, you get to see yes. some of my yes. film. You know, yes. like especially when I, like when I used to used to go buy Cottonmouth stuff, you know, from Bill Records. I used to get that and just read everything. I get the, I got, oh, this is daughter's names and you know, yes. this jazz and jazz, you know, you know, all that. So you get to know who they was working with. Exactly. Right. And that's how I started knowing everybody. You know, so I used to call record studios and book time don't even come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, just, just, to, just to know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. It was now nah, I was young at the time. Nah, so wait a minute. you know, I was young at the time. So I, I you know, I really I wanted to feel like I was doing something, but I didn't have nothing. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like I you know, like I was, was recording and I was recording on my mama old Al Green tape, putting tape on uh, tissue in the top of oh, it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah you yeah. know, so yeah. I ain't have nothing. So I'll call them book time, they tell me it was too high. And I like, I know I ain't my mama ain't finna spend none of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. like that ain't ain't happening. What, so what, what were you trying to find? The price? Yeah, I, I, I know. Now they was telling me the price, and that's why I'm coming. <laughs> 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 you go ahead and book it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm gonna be up there on Friday. We all block. Go ahead, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to put together a group, man. I, we thought we was immature. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> wait a minute. No, the old immature, not the. I'm talking about one with the uh, with the uh, the Hawaiian so boy in the. That nigga said Hawaiian boy. Hell so nah, I couldn't sing. Too, I thought okay. I could. <laughs> you was gonna be the I rapper. <laughs> you was gonna be the rapper in the group. I used to have my sister back up singing and everything. Man, we used to do that too. I used to make my sister get up. We gotta practice. Yeah, cause mom and them, we go to the family Five, house. Seven, eight. We gotta be able to do that. Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Uh, remember the time video. So me and my sister, I'm in the back. She doing this. She going down, <laughs> and I'm up there hitting it like. The flow on the beat, you know, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, we, <laughs> that's how it was back then. You know, everybody get in front of TV, Apollo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, and then we we used to love. I just always used to say, "Who's from Dallas?" That was oh, always yeah. my thing. Who's from Dallas? And that's also what made me go on the search for Dallas music. You know? Let me ask y'all, y'all, you, both of y'all, a question. When do you think Flavor TV was at its height? What year? I would say. For Shiggity, nine, nine, four. Through. Whenever uh, through. Russ Parr used to be on Russ Parr. Oh, Russ, Russ Parr. Oh, drive, yeah, drive by slapping. Drive by slapping. Those were the best. Those you know, were the saying, best. Michael, uh, met, uh, uh, what was that? Michael, uh, he did Michael Jackson as uh, yes. met, um, uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> well, Russ Parr and Al Frieda's. Yeah. Uh, well, when they were on it, there. what? how <laughs> integral was it to the city in between 90... When did it end? Let's talk about that. Well, it flavor, it was flavor lasted until the two thousand. Okay, it like especially a couple. I think Flavor TV probably stopped probably about I want to say about 2012, 2013. Wow, probably a little bit, uh, probably fourteen. But yeah, they was was they, it still? They still had online stuff. It was twenty seventeen. I know it was something like twenty seventeen is yeah. when they stopped. Yeah, I know it was something like that because I still was keeping up with them. Oh wow, yeah. So do do you think they were still viable? Uh, what did it say? 98, 99, 2000? Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I, I, I figured that. I mean, you got to realize Google and all them, Peanut, all them on there, Picasso, uh, yes. goddamn me, you know, Jalo, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, everybody from the city was getting a platform, you know, to really come through there. But then you got to realize at that time, Ozone Magazine came through oh, and, yes. you know, and opened up the doors for like Bowleg and, yes. and, you know, you know, like the Twisted Black, yes, you know, yes, like that's I that boy, that. Gator Man. Mm. And, all them boys, you know, DSR, you yes, know, like, yes. ooh, E Rock and man, we have some, we have some talent in e there. Ooh, yeah, ooh, e that's what I'm talking about. That's my boy. That boy switched his name to Jack Triple. Yeah, Jack Triple. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel you, player. Yeah, hey, E Class, come holler at me, brother. Yeah, man. Come on, like, man. It it was a beautiful time, especially from coming from like just Nemesis, you know, DOC. You know, and then Grass House. For people forgot about Grass House. A lot House, of people forget about Grass House. Grass House was one of the first black black tone and all that. I mean, yes. uh, uh, not black tone, but uh, black black. Tone. You know, I know. You know, what I'm talking about black. <laughs> <laughs> black and the black and the black and the black and you're black <laughs> and you're black boy. <laughs> nah, but that's my boy, Black G. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Grass House had a, a, played a major part in the city, just like Flavor. You know what yes. I'm saying? And then Corey came around with um. Cloud. Powerhouse. Powerhouse, that's right. Yeah, I'm about to say Cloud. Yeah, it was Powerhouse. First. Yeah, Powerhouse. Yes. So, you know, my cousin. That was major. Then, my cousin when them was over there. My my cousin was messing with Grass House. You know what I'm saying? My cousin was rapping for them. Then, you know, started messing over there with Powerhouse and all them. You know, like, uh, they, they had their group out called Pharmacy. Yeah. They was like, uh, a break, like a branch of uh, Young Hustlers with Rilo with the Pimp and all mm -hmm. them. That's mm -hmm. how, that's why I'm so type of Rallo and them like already that. yeah you shout know. out to Rallo man oh yeah shout out to Rallo the whole young hustlers man the, the whole young the pharmacy the <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something that was that's that a lot of people don't know back in the day you probably know I'm gonna make y'all remember Sound Warehouse on Pope mm -hmm. you know who used to work there who they had real they had about three or four people but two mainstays Terry McGill mm. and Cal from the Young Hustlers. Mm. Terry McGill, Major Money. Cal from the mm. Young Hustlers worked right there at that sound warehouse. And let me tell you something. He was in the perfect spot at right. the perfect time. Right. Can you imagine being a teenager or in your early 20s working at that sound warehouse and being a rapper? 
Oh, yeah, you was in there. Oh, he was in the door. Yeah. And Terry McGill was so plugged in from from working at that sign warehouse. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, it's Terry McGill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terry McGill, man. What's up, Terry what? McGill? Shout out, yeah, man. Shout out two times, man. Yeah, man. And, um, yeah, that's that, that was crazy. I mean, that sign warehouse, I would, certain things I wish they would have never gotten rid of. Man, it's a lot of stuff they shouldn't have got rid of. Mm-hmm. That's what they really, what kind of, like, Took the hope and the spirit away from the city. The whole spirit yes. went away in Dallas. A lot of people don't know that. The uh, culture went away. Yeah, the whole culture, and that's that's what the spirit is. The culture. Yes. It's like they took it. They took it away. So when they, when you know, when Picasso came in with that, we are Dallas uh, documentary. Yes, that was like I was like, man, the city ain't even. It ain't like it used to be. It's you not know? like I mean, we used to pack out clubs. You know oh what yeah, Debellum. Oh, <sighs> come on, man. Top Cat. You know, shout out to Coon. You know what I'm saying? Shout Kundalini? Out, yeah, shout out to Ooh, Kundalini. You know Kundalini? What yeah, What's yeah, up? Yeah, that's boy R.I.P., man. He was always there. And I'm cool. If I, if I went over there with Coon, I was over there with DJ Drop. Yes. DJ Drop, I, man, I, we can just sit on stage with DJ Drop, and DJ Drop going to play his own beats in the club. Already. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like oh, let yeah. people know, come get them. That's, that's real, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's real, man, because life was so simple back then mm-hmm. it was really right before the internet age mm-hmm. i mean before the social media age right, so right. Say, our internet was already going on but right. the social media age and we had to really get out there and grind right really get out there and seek it out right and like you said man i was everywhere yeah I was if, everywhere. It, if it was rap if it was that jamie's and all i'm there mm-hmm. if it was that midpoint i'm there yeah. you know what i'm talking about um I mean, we selling CD. You can you can, you can go anywhere in Dallas and sell CD. I don't care. You can go buy a hundred stack right now. You are gonna sell out and gonna be right back at the store getting another hundred stack, burning them and going to sell them. You're out. Right, you're right. So you in the music? Mm-hmm. You 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 open your own studio, start making tracks. Next thing you know, you say, you know what? I'm about to get into media. I'm about to start my own platform. Well, it really didn't happen like that. What happened to make you say, I'm about to jump in front of the camera? Well, see, what happened was, see, I opened up a studio. Okay. You know, and at this time, I was um, working with this group called the Jump Out Boys. Okay. And this phenomenal guy came in, you know what I'm saying, named Big D with 909 Commission. Okay. You know what I'm saying, and took took the radio, took K104, by storm every weekend it was Big D nine on nine commission at Chris Style. You know what I'm saying? Jump okay. out boys. We were opening up for Pimp C. We were opening up for uh Young Jock. What year? What year? This oh, was, this was two thousand five, two thousand six. This, this was two thousand uh um, three, two thousand four, oh, really? two thousand five. No, 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 no. Now yeah, we was going. We made a whole oh, run. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, we made a whole little run that year because right around that time, um, they had the song called Headed to the Grambling and that kind of blew up, you know what I'm saying? So, but it's just that the group, you know, how when group thing, when you, once you start off with four and the next thing you know, you got six then you got 12 and wow. then, you know, it's just like, it's going to hard to, it's going to be hard to divide that pie. It is. And it's going to be hard to maintain everybody's attitudes because everybody got different mind frames. Correct. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So why when we moved over from that, we end up. Uh, I end up transitioning and really started taking my engineering and my production serious, and I land landed in my hand another group, which was the Trap Stars. Oh, so now I'm working on this whole this whole album and stuff like that. Shout out to um, my boy YT, Pac Man, and J High. You know what I'm saying? Um, because there was experience, you know, never I had never had this experience before, but it was my first time we doing this album. And then we uh we in there recording this song. Get it, bitch. Yeah. She got a face like my like Trina. So, you know, we we worked on it. We worked on that song for about a month. Who did that beat? Well, a lot of people touched their hands on that beat. Really? So the like, first cat was the original cat who did the track was from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Then it ended up a spider would end up trying to make the beat, remake the beat, whatever, me and spider. So what ended up happening was um, I ended up had to go sit some time out. And they end up, we we recorded the song one night and I burned it to a CD. They end up taking it to Rhythm, uh, Rhythm City or something like that. Though. It was one of them. Shout out to uh, DJ Smiley because he broke it that night. Oh, really? You know, and then 
I ended up having to go sit some time out, and they needed they they needed the album. I'm the only one that had the album. I was their recording the engineer, everything. I was their whole personnel, you know. And uh, they just had got their deal with uh, Universal Republic, so I made sure I got out. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I made sure I got out. Made sure I got I got my stuff back. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody they robbed my studio and all this wow. stuff. It was, it was a big old Dang. yeah a dude, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude had a hate out from me. He was hating because I was working with them for one. Yeah. And with the trap stars, he wasn't liking it. It was just a whole little stuff. He Who said, was dude? Up. It's uh, some yeah. some dude, man. I don't oh. even want to give him his give him the day of light, but you know was, his name? Yeah, I know his name. Yeah, he's, I know. he's still active. He said he's somewhere around here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he's somewhere around here. Yeah. You know, they you know they had to move him by the time he did the you know start snitching. You know what I'm saying? So they moved him around wow. or what a, or what a, or what not. You know what I'm saying? I end up going in there, had to bail out. You know, uh, I had to go get all. I had to find all these dudes. It was about five dudes that stole my studio equipment. Wow. You know what I'm saying? The whole studio was gone, kicked off. So the next thing you know, I Dang. slept in the studio. You know, I went. You know, uh, I went John Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Straight cold coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To tech nine and nine in the hand. Oh you know? yeah. And then I went and got some dudes, start putting people in the trunk until I got all my stuff back. You oh, know really? what I'm saying? True story. You know what I'm saying? The laws, the laws came, got me. You know what I'm saying? They told me, you know. They they could have took me to gun. They could have took me to jail. I, you know they knew I kidnapped the dudes. Everything they had a pistol right there in the seat and everything. And he was just like the law was just like, man, I'm gonna let you go just because. <laughs> Just yeah. because, shout out, you know, I'm gonna look story. the other way. Really. Yeah, you shout out. He out. said, just because I know what you, you know, I, I, why are you doing it? Right, and then he, and then I already made the complaint that the studio they knew that my stuff got robbed because yeah. they arrested me. As soon as they took me to jail, they they the one told me my studio got robbed. That's how I knew. So that's why I was really eager to bond out now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. So then I'll be back, officer. So yeah. I end up getting the trap stars. Yeah, I end up giving them their record. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We end up getting to turn it into Universal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Then I, you know, and I end up going to the penitentiary. I see they video on um Flavor TV. Yeah. So, you know, you I'm sick. You know, I'm like, I'm finna come home. I, you know, it's finna be up. Nigga get we get home. What you go to the PM for? Because, you know what I'm saying? I sold to undercover th- uh like three times. Yeah. The, the White? Boy, huh? White? Uh nah, green. Okay. Nah, you know what I'm saying? But the the dude, um, that was next door, and you know, in these buildings like this, you know, yeah. so that's why I really don't like getting in any buildings no more. Yeah. The dude next doors and all that, but I, I ain't doing none of that no more anyway. But you know, what I'm saying CBD for life, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, but um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the dude next door was doing all that hating, set me up, you know, what I'm saying, put him in, put him on me, sick him on me, you know, what I'm saying, did his thing, he got me locked up. Wow, how, how much time you do? Uh, I did two years. Oh, wow. yeah, okay. I did two years, yeah. Were you uh, where, where you sit down there? Um, I went uh, first. First stop was butt naked gurney. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Not the gurney. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Butt naked, naked, right next to beat on one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, first stop was butt naked gurney. Then from there, uh, went to uh, what's that Bradshaw unit? Okay, yeah, Bradshaw unit. It was all right. It was wide open. Yep. You know, yeah, that butt was wide open. Yeah, <laughs> it's state jail and penitentiary mixed together. Oh wow. Yeah. So yeah, that butt was wide open. Mm. Yeah. So. Trap stars came. Now, when did the podcasting come about? So, the podcasting came because I was already by. I got out the pen. I started up the studio again, and I was like, this time with the studio, I, I end up getting out, and I end up getting a deal with Sony. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I went work my way up. Went got a deal with Sony and everything like that. And I seen the new wave. I knew the internet was taking over before anybody. Yep. So I started getting. I already getting on on YouTube, and I started this show called Go Hard or Go Home. Okay. So what I did was with the studio, I would have the artists come in and rap over beats that I made in instrumentals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and after they get through do that, I used to have sessions. I used to have the poetry night. I had the live band come in. Yeah, yeah. I had the rap session and mm-hmm. battle. And then after that, boom, we uh, end up taking it. Uh, once they get done with that, we had the interviews. Yeah. So I was like, you know, uh, okay, I need to keep some up. So about this time, we end up shutting the show down, you know, and um, I end up moving to Mesquite or whatever. Then we end up getting back. I was like, man, I got to get back to Oak Cliff. I said, I got to get back home. I can't be out here. It's too far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too far. So we end up, I say, when we go back to Oak Cliff and I started up the podcast, I say, man, everybody out here, I start, I started seeing all the media. I was just like, man, everybody just painting a nigga picture. Everybody want everybody to fight. Everybody painting yes. stuff yeah, against do. people. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, it's a, it's a bigger picture out here. I say, you know, it's a bigger picture. I was like, man, let's start lit podcast, man. And, uh, 
And let's see if we can, you know, shed some light on her with a positive picture and see if people tune in. And that's what it was. Love it. Okay, let's go down to something. <clears throat> You've had some great guests on your podcast. Mm-hmm. Including myself. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> um, top female MC in Dallas. Top five. No, that's too many. Top yeah, three. Like to, okay. Top three. Top three. Oh, that's easy. Okay. Lyrical. Lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Goddamn me. Uh, 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 Y'all write that down. I, I got I, Butter Go Harder. Butter Go Harder. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to check it out. And uh, D.D. Warbucks. D.D. Warbucks in there. Okay. Yeah. I read it. I read it. Three Hardest Guys. That's, that's from the new era. From the new era? Yeah. Then we're going to go old era. From the new era. Who you liking? It's some, some, some talent out yeah. there, bro. Nah, I know it's talent out there. It just it just it's just so hard. I like one eye bandit. Boy, you go hard. One eye bandit. Shout out. Where's shout out. From? Uh oh, yeah. That's over there. It's S M B. You know what I'm saying? Uh you know what I'm saying? C Fat Now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He over there. You know, uh, he over there messing with Rude Boy and all them. Oh, you really? Know? And uh Lil Q, nine hundred, you know what I'm talking about. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Now what's the guy name? Uh, one eye bandit, you know what I'm saying? One eye bandit, okay. I'm yeah, gonna call yeah, yeah. my boys. And yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that boy right there, I like that boy. Facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll let me. Yeah, I like that, that, that boy. I like that, 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 that boy. Okay, who else? <laughs> um, let's see. Who else who I got just just really just jamming on her like that? Oh, my boy. Yeah, you know, you know, I can't forget you, boy. Sleazy Beezy. Sleazy B. Sleazy B. Okay. That boy chomping. Yeah, Where's he from? What from the cliff, Canterbury? Okay, oh, you know I was at Canterbury. Canterbury. I used to stay in Surrey Road. Yeah, Surrey Road. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's going yeah, down. Yeah, already. Mm-hmm. Number three. Uh, let's see. You know, see, man, if because you know it's, it's a lot of old school tools in the new era too. Now nah, we gonna get some old school. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna okay. go yeah. about all right. Cause I'm I, man, I ain't gonna lie. Cause, cause I'm 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 digging I'm digging my boy Zeddy Wayne and I'm digging my boy Gunner. You know what yeah. I'm saying right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying like, you know, and my boy Levi Cartier. You know what I'm yeah. saying like I'm always been you know I always been messing with Levi since back in the gap. Yeah, you know what yeah. Saying? he's so, very talented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, well, he got a song so bad that he I don't see why he won't push. He got it's like a slab with no bang, mm-hmm. a pimp with no hoe. Say that. Woo, hey. Hey. Look, that sound good. He, yeah, he, that look, you know, is jamming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you that was got some talent. Yeah, man. that's why it's hard right now because the youngsters, it's a lot of them. You know, yeah. have you noticed within the last quarter of the year of this year mm-hmm. that we have gone away from that drill and back to more spitters? Yeah. Oh yeah. We yeah. got it's, yeah. it's some more spitters out spitters. there, bro. Yeah, it's more spitters out there. Yeah. yeah, man, and I'm loving it. Yeah, and f- especially coming from the women. Right. These women out here spitting oh, now. Yeah. You know, oh, talking yeah. about they ain't talking about their body on all their songs and everything, and it's it's it's, it's beautiful. I tell you, you another who's spitting out there uh, besides um, uh, enchanting. Uh, uh, you like enchanting? Yeah, I like enchanting, but uh, the girl that sound like a um, u- unique music. Unique music. Oh man, say she a, she a beast. I need to check her out. Yeah, you need a beast. Give me three from the old school. That's easy. You should have them in your head. Man, man, say, because a lot it's of people. It's not care. that easy. Yeah, it ain't that easy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I, if, I, if I'm going to go. If Who I'm, your three favorite but, rappers in Dallas? But, but if I'm going to go with an army switchblade night, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going uh, I'm going uh, Gator Man there off you top go. the right. Off the rip, I'm going Gator Man. I, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna fail me at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. At all. Uh, 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 <laughs> a goddamn me. Um, Come on. You know I'm I'm go twisted black. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Even though I know he's from Fort Worth, but he he mess with us strong. That's you know, okay. DF Dub. You know what I'm saying. I read it. I read it. Um, Number three. And. Shout out God, to my brother Twisted Black. No. He put me on three spot like that. Golly, man. Uh, you got one more in there. You got one of mine in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, because I need my, my boy, my boy, big. Who? Okay, she like. I know. I'm gonna, I, I know. That's what I'm, I'm battling Phone with. Phone a friend. Phone nah, a nah, friend. Nah, she know I'm battling with. I'm, I'm battling with. I'm battling with big ass C strokes or uh uh uh. <laughs> 
C Strugs. Yeah, C Strugs. C Strugs was hard, bro. Yeah, C Strugs. I'm gonna have to put my boy C Strugs on there. I read it. I read it. Yeah. I read it. So that's yeah. your three. Yeah. That's tight list. Yeah. That's tight list, bro. So man, we sure appreciate you coming, Absolutely. man. Yeah. You got some shout outs? Man, I just wanna say shout out to the whole Triple D. Shout out to uh, CBD for life. Shout out to uh, Soul Lounge. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole MLR. I wanna say right now I'm taking a break, you know what I'm saying, from the podcasting right now. No! Huh? The hell? Well, y'all came in and the y- y- y'all, y'all, y'all don't blame me for that shit. My, my influence nah, done rubbed nah, out. Nah, no, nah, 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 I know playing. you playing. <laughs> nah, I, I am taking a break though right now because I'm getting ready for graduating. I'm graduating from college. I'm getting my bachelor's degree right now. That's okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good break. Yeah. yeah. That's a good break. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna graduating with a 4.0. Hey. So I got all my tassels, you know what I'm that's saying? That's what I'm talking about. First God damn it. out of the family, you know what I'm saying? So, Ooh, that's major. Yeah, yeah. That's major. I'm proud. Yeah. Big man, so how long over how high is we taking? Um, I'll be back after uh, February uh, Oh, that's, 3rd, that's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, a right, that's a small break. That's a small break. That's yeah, cool. That's cool. Yeah. So when you come back, you coming back tenfold. Oh. Ten times ready. I got some I got something in the books. Man. Come on. I got something in the books, man. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm I got something in the books. You know Good. What I'm Good. Yeah. So man, we sure appreciate you coming, bro. I appreciate you having me. Man, cause Without you, you know what I'm saying? We need people, platforms like you, bro. Right. We need people. In people this, like you. Yeah, people yeah. like you with that knowledge. Right. People like you that. Support. That support. Genuinely support. Uh, 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 breathe, mm-hmm. eat, shit, hip hop. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. It's, it's people out there like that's, that's like me, man. Right. You know what I'm talking about? And you are one of those guys, man. You are a super tight guest, bro. Hey, it's your girl Jazzy K from Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone who's been watching and subscribing. And if you enjoy this content, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos. 